What is going on guys, B2B FIFA here and welcome to episode 16 of the Academy Project. And today boys, we play against Accrington Stanley. Now before we actually jump into the game though, I make some changes, I put our boy S7 in. Decided to throw our boy Harris into the lineup as well. Sick of uh, Sook of course goes in as well. Dudar in the lineup. And I'm basically just doing a little bit of maintenance, trying to see what I can do. Tashev goes in. I'm looking at Kryn and I'm like, you know what? Kryn has been pretty decent for us. I throw him into the bench in case we need him. And uh, that's how. those are all the changes we make, boys. And after this, I decide uh, to essentially just look into... Um, and to just basically do, do the best we can and uh, our opponent, you know who it is, Akron Stanley. I don't like these guys and uh, once again, I feel like the game favors them. But anyways, leaving that aside, Akron Stanley begins the game and we jump straight into the 21st minute and our boy Charlie Thomas gets taken out by the Akron Stanley defender. Oh man, they are some dirty, dirty little bastards, these Akerton Stanley players. I am so glad I decided to throw Kim into the squad. And uh, I decide that I'm going to do a little bit of changes because I don't really want Kim in at strike. He doesn't have the best shooting ability. Uh, and I'm, I decide, you know what, I'm going to throw Sip into strike. And then I'm going to swap wings between Kim and Harris. Um, because Harris has a pretty decent right foot. If he cuts in, he can go ahead and take a shot. So that's what I actually end up doing, and you can see that right there. So let's jump straight into the game. Um, 45th minute, boys. Nothing happened that first half except these dirty little bastards took out Charlie Thomas, which is my only real striker right now because Kryn is injured. So I jump straight into the second half, boys. And... We are in the 62nd minute right now. Akron's and Stanley on the ball. Baco right here has the ball. He sends it over to Otero. Otero sends it into Connolly. Connolly takes a magnificent little shot. Hits the post. And we are very lucky not to go down right there. Dudar controlling the ball right there. And... It's the 71st minute, boys. There's a throw in. And we go straight in to make some changes. Anderson goes out for Anderson. Uh, Shaw goes in for Sook. And those are the changes I'm making right now. Strachan on the ball right there. Sends it out to S7. S7 looks in. He does him dirty. Cuts back in. Looks in. Takes a shot. Finesses it. And can't put it into the back of the net. In the 87th minute, boys. We get a corner from that. Take that corner technique. Look at that right there. Goes over the bar. And it was not to be. It is the 88 minute boys. Accrington Stanley on the ball. Eagles has it and he's running down the wing. Sends it out to Otero. Otero, let's see what he can do with it. He holds up a little bit. I'm trying to defend as best as I can. Strackham is doing pretty good work. He still gets it off right there. And Strackham just boots it off upfield. Goes straight to one of their players, of course. And look at this, boys. Supposed to be plus two, right? Two minutes of extra time. No, it, it's like it's been like five minutes of in game time. And look, <sighs> they get that shot. Cooper is able to get it out, and it finally ends. Finally ends. Now, I know that's a nil nil game. However, as much as this game favors this team, Akerton Stanley. I felt pretty decent about that. Plus, is another point that gets us even closer to those playoff positions that I so want to get to because, I mean, I want to try and get promoted this this um, this season, boys. I mean, if I have to spend another season in League 2, I understand, but I want to try to get promoted. And right here, I actually go crazy training up uh, Sun because... Charlie Thomas is out, Kryn is out, and in case for some reason within the next couple days he's available, I want to make sure he's uh, as trained up as possible. I never thought that we would have to train this guy so early, but I decided to go ahead and do that. So he gets all five tra 
training slots he actually does pretty decent goes up to 50 overall really close to 51 overall was really happy with that we're in ninth place with 37 points um not 37 points 51 points um only three away from the playoff positions and our next game is against barnett boys and i decided to go in and look at our um our mail right there and yaman's coming back go back in press conference not interested in that i felt like when i played around with the press conferences i've chose something incorrectly the games became harder and i just don't have time for that right here you saw i put krenin but he's got that little band-aid next to him and i'm like you know what let's give santoro run out i mean he is our scout future star maybe he'll do some decent things for us <clears throat> Boys, if for some reason my voice seems a little off, I apologize. I am just a tad bit sick and recovering. Um, but I wanted to make these videos out for you guys. I've been having a lot of fun doing them. I want to make sure I get them out for you guys. But anyways, we jump straight into the six minute right here. So we are on the ball. Our boy Lund has it. He sends it back to Anderson. Anderson is looking around. He's trying to find something. Sends it into Suck. Suck does a little back heel right there. And our boy Sip sends it into Lund. And Lund takes a shot. And unlucky that we weren't able to score right there. We get the corner kick. Trying this corner technique. Look at this right here, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I know it didn't go in. But that's what I'm looking for. Like, that's a technique. I'm still trying to perfect this technique. And it's finally starting to take shape. Right here, our boy Suck just doing Suck things. Touch have on the ball. He does a little ball roll, finds Santoro right there. Santoro's trying to find something, takes a shot with his left foot, which is not his preferred foot, but takes a shot regardless. I want to show you guys that because we actually attacked Barnett a significant amount. Right here, Harris doing work, sends it into Santoro. Santoro cuts in with a fake shot, takes a shot right there, finesse, goes straight to the keeper, but he was doing work. I was like, you know, I was pretty impressed by him. I was like... Maybe we just need to play him as strike. Don't know about that yet because Kren is pretty good. And I do like Charlie Thomas even though he hasn't scored very much for us. But right here, Harris on the ball. Trying to hold up play right here. Sends it over to Santoro. Santoro, Anderson. Anderson takes the shot. And the keeper holds on to it. But boys, we were attacking. And here we are on the ball again. Our boy Santoro sends it down to Sip. Sip back to Santoro. Santoro cuts in with a fake shot. Takes it in. Puts it into the back of the net. Very happy with that result, boys. Very happy that I put Santoro into strike. He does a really good job. Really nice finesse. I think he's got like 70 curves. So, I mean, that was probably the best shot he could have taken. So, I'm really happy he took it into the side netting. What a magnificent little bowl. Little goal, not bowl. Oh, my God. Anyways, boys. We go straight in into the game and barnett is on the ball right now 35th minute they're trying to hold up play nichols over here sends it out over the bar nothing too crazy it's the 45th minute boys and uh, this is pretty much where the first half ends after this opportunity from Toshev that he's not able to actually put into the back of the net but that was a pretty decent chance from us and once again we get another uh corner kick right here which unlucky right there i mean they got really lucky we should have been two three nil up but anyways that's how the first half ends boys it ends one nil to us jump straight into the 57th minute right there and uh pearson's on the ball sends it uh right he sends it in we clear taylor on the ball right here gets a shot in and uh jump straight into the 71st minute you know what happens around this time we make changes but right now, they are on the ball. Actually, I go ahead and I um, pause the game. I decide to put, I believe I decide to put in Kren or Shaw. Yeah, Kren. I decide to put Kren in for Suck because I wanted some more offensive power. And I put Olsen in for Toshev because Toshev was really, really tired. I decide to continue straight into the 74th minute right here. Nichols gets... One opportunity, golden opportunity, and he fluffs it. Right here, we clear like nothing ever happened. Just calm as can be. In the 90th minute, boys, that's how the game ends. 1-0 to us. 
very happy we were able to beat Barnett. Three more points in the bag. Sip is very happy with the performance. I don't know why he's looking happy. I don't know. Anyways, as you can see there, 10 shots, 7 on target. We did really well. We pretty much dominated the game. So Barnett didn't have a chance. And here we decided to do some training. Our boy Kren, of course, gets some shooting training. Then I go in and I decide to go ahead and train up our boy Santoro because I was really happy with his performance. And the next person to get trained up, I don't believe it's Santoro. Um, I was just thinking, I was like, why did, why did I choose him again? Anyways, he's not the one who gets trained up. I just chose the wrong thing. Um, I go back in and I choose Shaw and I train him up. Uh, Strachan as well, he gets a little bit of training and Cooper of course gets a little bit of training as well. So that's basically how training went. Um, Santoro did really well, Shaw did really well and Cooper did really well. The other two not so much. But if you saw right there boys, if you saw the table we are edging really really close to those playoff positions really close to them charlie thomas was cleared he's got a little band-aid next to his name at this point look at that we're only one point away from colchester a team who we beat in the last episode so if we did not beat colchester last episode we would not be as close as we are now this episode so far we have four points out of a possible uh nine so i am okay with that as long as we don't take any losses and we're still adding points to our tally, I'm pretty happy with that. I decided to put Charlie Thomas into the bench, but he is not playing. Our boy Kren is going to be our main striker. Sip is on the left as well. Suck in the middle. And we begin the game against Knott's County, boys. So we kick off right here. And... Man, this game was so much fun to play. I mean, Knott's County attacked me and I attacked them. It was just really good. Tushev on the ball right here. Does a little bit of waiting right there. Gets it over to Kren. Kren, Kren takes a shot. And look at this. Oh my God. I can't believe we didn't get that in. Santoro couldn't put it into the back of the net. Look at our boy Sip just forcing his way through. He's like, get off me, boy. Sip over here. Cuts in. Tries to get nothing. Takes it away, takes a shot, and goes wide, but only narrowly. Sip just, he was on a mission right there. Sip was super, he was like, oh man, I'm going to do something. And he, <laughs> he did. Anyways, Santor right here sends it up to Tushchev. Tushchev to Suck. Suck to Anderson. Anderson sends it up to S7. S7 looks into Kren. Kren says, oh, take the run. Sip back in. Sip does the stop and turn of like he always does. He's trying to find something. Sends it into Suck. Suck sends it back to Sip. Sip takes the shot and look at that. Swats it. If that was going to go straight into the back of the net. But it was not to be boys. Right there. Our boy Suck is trying to get the ball back. He's trying to fight as much as he can. Right here. Lund is running after the ball. Trying to recover. He finally gets it away. It's a 45th minute. And Ronaldinho is like. Just blow the damn whistle already. We're doing as much as we can. To try and stop them and it's <laughs> I don't know what it was but it's I feel like the extra time or the uh, the added time at the end of each half was longer than normal anyways we go straight into the second half boys still nil nil I'm over here trying to do something trying to score some goals trying to get us into those playoff positions trying to fight every single ball I can Santoro's on the ball sends it over to Lund Lund cuts in. He's looking for something. He sends it over to Anderson. Anderson sends it up to Sip. Sip sends it into Suck. Suck, once again, holds up. Sends it into Kren. Kren decides that he's going to barge in and take a shot. Look at this. Sip takes a shot and oh my god. I can't believe he missed that, boys. Anyways, Kren on the ball right here. Look who was taken out. It's our boy Sip. I was like, are you serious? Our most valuable player, our MVP, our superstar gets taken out. And I'm like, who's going to replace Sip? There's only one person, boys. It's our boy Harris. Harris goes in. I decided to throw Santoro in on the left-hand side. 
So if he gets the opportunity to cut in and take a shot with his preferred right foot like he did in that other game for us, he can. And Harris, we know what who what Harris can do, so we throw him into the squad right there. Right here, Shaw does some work, and look at that vision. He sees, he sees our boy Harris. Jordan Harris on the ball. Look at this fake shot right here. Oop, does him all dirty and puts it into the back of the net in the 79th minute. Our boy Harris just makes him look silly. Look at that breaking ankles and everything. Just cuts in and calmly slots it into the bottom corner. Oh my god. Anyways, boys, I was so happy with that right there. And here we have the 90th minute. Boys, yes, yes, we did it. Two wins, one draw, seven out of nine points. Extremely happy with the results today, boys. But anyways, that is where I'm going to leave the episode today. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I am out. Peace.